In this video, I'll show you how you can log on to myon.co.uk so you can read your ebooks. First of all, I've navigated to the website and then I'm going to enter in the school name, which is St. Mary's Christian Brothers School. The username will be the same as your accelerated reader login and your Office 365 login. So it's the first half. So for example, I have a sample account here, david.mcavoy.21, and the username then will be the same as my Teams password or my Office 365 password. They're the same thing. So when I sign in for the first time, I'll be given the option to choose my interests. So here you're given a list of selected topics to choose which ones you're interested in. And Mayan will give you a selection of books that correspond to your interests. So I'm just going to choose some options here and Mayan will present me with a nice little list of books that might interest me. So once I'm done, I just go up to save up the top and it will bring me to the Mayan homepage. So here I'm on the landing page, but there's also the option to look in the library and there is a button for projects here if your teacher hands you down any projects. Let's look at the further options for my own profile. I've got my interests. I can change my interests. Um, you can track your activity. You can add notes to a journal or a portfolio here. And you can change your avatar and view your profile. So if I go to view my profile here, it'll show me my progress since I've started using my own. So such as the amount of minutes read or books completed, etc. Now, just to go back here, there's also an option to use Mayan on your mobile device. So you can download the Mayan app through the App Store and you can use that secret pin to log into your Mayan account and that will sync across all your details. So let's have a look at the homepage a little further here. You've got the search box, you've got the time spent reading, the books finished and the pages read. So this will give you a kind of a summary of your progress so far. It'll show you your last book opened and the amount of time you spent reading that book. It will also give you some recommended books here um, according to your interests. And these will be, there will be a list down below here of some other books that you opened recently. So let's look at the library page here. This is where you can search the ebooks that are available to you. The first box is really good because it recommends book that are books that are inside your ZPD. Now your ZPD will sync across to my answer. There's no need to enter any of that details. Um, so you can see here, I actually like this book. It's got to do with elephants. So I'm just going to click into it uh, and it gives you an overall breakdown of it. If I go to the details page here, you can see the ATOS level, which is your ZPD is 5.2 and the accelerated reader points is 0 0.5 so if i'm inside that zpd i would like to read this book and i would if i take the quiz i'll get 0 0.5 points so the options down below are to download the book to add it to your favorites or to read it so i'm going to select the option to read it so this will launch the um, online reader and let's have a look at some of the options available to us here the first of these is the uh, dictionary so we can look up any uh, words that we're uncertain about uh, there's also tools here to annotate the book as you go along so you can highlight words um, you can draw shapes, you can write in text, etc. Um, and this will all automatically save on my end, So there's no need to uh, the next time you log in, it will still be there. So the next option available to me is my journal. I can um, add notes or take notes as I go along. And again, these will save. And the last option is um, the settings button. So you can change some of the features in there. Now let's go ahead and read some of the books. So down the bottom, there will be the option to press play. Um, and this will actually read the book to you if you don't want to read it or if you want to stick in some headphones. And then if I click this little button here, I can actually quickly look through all the pages of the book and select which ones I want. So I flicked about halfway through here. Um, and you can see the left and right arrows there will bring us further on in the book if we like. Um, and there's also a, a zoom button. So that's how you use the online um, reader. So if I just go up to exit up here, that will save my progress um, and it will automatically log all the details back onto my homepage. So again, if you want to take the quiz for this book, then you can actually go back into the book and just click the orange button. It's called take the AR quiz and that will open a new tab and bring you to the accelerated reader homepage where you're, again you log in and it will automatically launch the quiz. Now let's go back to the library page and look at some other features here. If you go to browse, you can actually browse the different topics or different uh, types of books that are available to you. So you can see there's all different uh, different range of um, titles there for you. You can add books to a bundle or favorite. So if you favorite a book, it will show up in here or you can create specific bundles or you can actually just search. Uh, this is a more detailed search option here for us. 
Um, so if I search the option to, for example, a dog, this will show up all the book titles that have the word dog in it. And again, you can click in here to view a, an overview of the book. This book has a reading level of four, has a PD of four and 0 0.5 AR points. Um, so that's just a, a nice breakdown of the Mayan uh, homepage and how to use it.